Hey there Guardians, it's Biotech716 and today we are going to be starting this channel's first Destiny 2 gun review and it's with a banger. We're going to be taking a look at the very effective Season 2 trials of the 9 Energy Pulse Rifle Darkest Before. This item can be acquired through playing Trials of the Nine, although you can acquire it by getting a Clan Trials en Engram and that's what I did because I'm not very good. I really wanted to review this gun first because it's relatively low key in the Destiny community with a number 94 pvp ranking as of right now and keep in mind that's with pulse rifles already being one of the least used gun archetypes darkest before really stands out because it's destiny 2's first pulse rifle to be in the highest rate of fire archetype at 540 rpm in addition to having the perk full auto which will surely bring back memories of using a god rolled clever dragon from destiny 1 if you played destiny 1 this gun also has amazing perks in general that you can choose from with a choice between quick draw and slide shot. Now, quick draw, I'd really recommend for the crucible almost always because it makes the switching to the gun and ADSing just really smooth and fast and it adds to the darkest before its crucible potency and which it's an overall really great gun in the crucible, but slide shot can be somewhat viable. But sliding in general is not extremely helpful to gameplay in Destiny 2 in my opinion, so that's why I don't ever really put it on. Now with the Darkest Before, you have three different kinds of barrel choices that will determine the recoil pattern. I'll be upfront and just tell you to use the first option, Arrowhead Break, and the other two just really have inferior recoil patterns that don't help killing moving enemies with random sideways recoil with the last two. Although they do get a little bit better with mods they, that decrease energy weapon recoil, the last two options still don't perform better ever than the first option, which has a burst that relatively always goes in a vertical, consistent upwards direction that really helps with making those precision headshots easy with this weapon, and I'm pretty bad at Destiny's Crucible, and I'm usually always hitting precision shots with this weapon. In PvE, this weapon, in my opinion, now does the vast majority of energy pulse rifles, including the raid one, because across all archetypes, they just don't match up with the consistent recoil and pure DPS output that you get in the 36 rounds plus full auto, and the gun can easily take down red bar enemies and put down respectable amounts of damage on high tier enemies and even bosses if you plan on using this weapon as your backup. And additionally, with Masterworks, you can easily make upwards of two to three orbs with a single magazine, made easier with a magazine Masterwork, which I recommend. And if not, I'd recommend the Reload Masterwork, the other two don't really help it out all too much. In PvP, that's where this weapon shines. It's able to absolutely melt people across most ranges with 4 to 5 bursts, and that might sound a little much, but with how fast the rate of fire is, you're just going to be sending so much uh, DPS down range, and you'll be able to melt people's shields down and just outgun people usually. It excels at medium distance with you being able to out DPS most weapons and it really only falls off at long range where you'll notice scout rifles just completely out DPSing you. You will lose those scout rifle engagements sadly, but outside of that this weapon just dominates the crucible. And I'd like to also say that pulse rifles are generally not in a good place in PvP with most being not accurate or not good in the DPS department, and Darkest Before smashes really both those categories being both very powerful with its rate of fire and having a consistent accurate recoil pattern plus that full auto. It just is the perfect pulse rifle package you'd want for the Crucible. If I had to give this gun any negatives, it would be the stability aspect plus the reload, and I kind of wish I had a bigger magazine due to full auto ripping through your magazines in both PvE and PvP. I mean, both can be remedied with armor mods and the masterwork system, so you can actively use your loadout to make this weapon even better, as I'd recommend it if you plan on using this weapon in your loadout. Overall, I'd highly recommend using this pulse rifle. It's a staple in my Destiny inventory, especially on my Hunter and Warlock, with I'm still using my Uriels on my Titan due to Actium War Rig, to be honest. But Darkest Before is easily my favorite energy weapon as of right now. I think it can compete with stuff as like Uriels Gift and Better Skate, stuff like that. And I hope that Bungie makes more auto rifles 
or more full auto pulse rifles in this category because I believe this is the only one that we have at the moment. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed Destiny and other video game related content, please consider subscribing or even giving this video a rating. And I'm back to making videos and we're about to hit 900 subscribers. So I really appreciate all you guys checking out my videos and giving me so much support. I've been racking up those views on a lot of my older videos. So really appreciate that a million uh, and look forward to the next gun review. It will most likely be Sins of the Past because I just got so many damn clips playing the Crucible with that weapon. So either way, have a good day, guys.